Welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. Today we're going to be stripping this bad boy all the way down and really finding out what the problem is in this crankcase. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're just going to start stripping all the parts off, uh, follow along at home, and we're just going to get this job done. So there you have it. We've disassembled the whole engine. We've got every part laid out with the crankshaft, piston, and, and cylinder all separate. We've got the two crankcase halves here. We've got the bearings. We can make an inspection now. When we were pulling it apart, I noticed that the um, clutch lever push rod it was kind of a little bit stiff and had a bit of heat on the end. So I was kind of thinking, oh, I'm not too sure about that. And then. What we're having a look at first, this is the, uh, you remember it would select first but not second gear. Now that's the uh, selector drum and that all checks out okay. So you can see here that this is the uh, clutch push rod. Now you should be able to pull that out normally on most engines and it's stuck in there. And when I'm looking along the shaft, we can see a little bit of uh, uh, a few metal filings there. Now none of the gears seem broken but then if we, oh, hang on a second. Huh. So there you go. That looks like the first gear and the, uh, what do you call that? The input shaft into the gearbox or the lay shaft coming off the, off the, you know, it's driven off the crank. Now we've just got a failure. That's all it is. Yeah, it's snapped right through there. And that's why we couldn't move this uh, actuator rod for the, the clutch that runs through the center of the shaft. And if, um, now this is just a little thrust washer and there's a circlip. So now engineering guys go, oh, yep, stress rises, sharp edges, blah, blah, blah. So what would happen on this shaft traditionally when we get the new one, you'll be able to see it. There'll be a circlip groove where this circlip goes in and that's to stop this gear set from sliding too far down or to stop this uh, thrust washer actually coming the other way because this gear set can't go any further because the spline stops right there. But we'll assemble that the other way and that is why it is broken it will it's just failed and that's all there is to it so we just have to order those new parts get them delivered and then we'll be able to put this bad boy back together and go cause some trouble so you can you can see here we've got our six speed gearbox it's a constant mesh uh, and these are the dogs the drive dogs so it's a dog engagement this is how you get the sequential gearbox and yeah so when First is engaged, none of the others, and then they, they just slide along the shaft on the different splines. It's a bit hard to explain. There's probably tons of um, diagrams and stuff you could look at on the internet, but this is just a quick visual of what, what you'd see inside the um, KZ gearbox engine. Okay, part four of the KZ engine build-up project is all done and dusted. We've stripped the whole engine, pulled everything apart, and we've found the problem. We've got a broken lay shaft here, and I'll have to just order those parts and get them ordered in and then in the next couple of weeks they'll turn up, put them all back together and uh, we haven't trashed any of the gear sets which is good, you know, so just the cost of the shaft. So it should be a relatively easy fix. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, otherwise hit the subscribe button to follow along at home. Don't forget, Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic or go to our website www.powerrepublic.com.au and grab yourself a t-shirt or a hat. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.